What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary Jamez. We're back right here, episode 11 of the Las Vegas Raiders franchise. Here we are entering week 10 against the Denver Broncos. We just had a big breakout game from Henry Ruggs last episode. Shout out to him. But now we got to go up against this Denver team who has not been playing very well. Uh, we, right now, the Raiders have a 5 and 3 record on the season. And going up against the Broncos, who are 1 and 7. So. You may say the odds are in our favor this week, but can never doubt a rivalry a game, a division rivalry game especially, like the Broncos. But before we get into that, let's check out this quick little upgrade. Only one person to get upgraded this week, and that's Colton Miller. He's uh he's definitely progressing as a nice little tackle for us. Hopefully he could uh hopefully his contract isn't gonna be too expensive when it's time. But you know he's solid. But like I said, we are favored in this one. We are at home out here in Vegas, brand new Allegiant Stadium. Looking beautiful. There's Henry Ruggs, one hell of a day last week. We'll see if we can build on that into this week. It's right here. You see six catches, 200 yards, and two TDs. That boy was cooking. Love to see the young rook get it. And let's get into it today. Right here, week 10, Raiders Broncos. Let's go. Vegas with the kickoff over to Denver as they are going to get the ball first, bringing it out of the end zone, only going to get out to about the 23 yard line on this one, and we bring them down pretty easily. Right here, Denver's QB, Drew Locke, only 12 touchdowns and 2 picks on the season. Not a lot of touchdowns, but at least he's not turning it over, but uh, definitely want to see those touchdowns go up if you are Denver. And like I said, they are 1-7, so they haven't been doing great, but at least their quarterback isn't turning the ball over. So let's get into it. First down right here. Drew Lock gonna hit Cortland Sutton out wide. That's gonna be a big uh, target for them right there. Is he does have superstar development, is he does have the superstar badge underneath him. So that may be a big target for Locke in this one. Uh early third and one right here. Philip Lindsay just gonna get enough for the first down right there. Shout out to him, the young speedster. So we're gonna pick it up right here. First and ten, shotgun. Three receivers on the right side. Cortland Sutton right there in the slot. And locks in, take the snap, step back, quick delivery out wide. I believe that's Melvin Gordon right there. Gonna get a nice solid gain right there, all the way up into Vegas territory at the 46. Once again, Denver going shotgun in this formation with Melvin Gordon on his left. Yet again, this one's gonna be a handoff to him this time, making some moves, big gain, and gonna get all the way up, make it a second and three now, pistol formation. Drew Lock, handoff. Nope, oh, play action. Got him. Farrell bringing the pressure. Lands a hit. And that's going to end up being just short of the tight end right there. Forcing a third and three right here. Vegas opportunity to get them off the field. Farrell coming in. Can't get it. Lindsay's just going to get enough, it looks like, with that forward progress. Once again, defense unable to collapse just in time. Lock once again. Shotgun going to go play action. He's throwing it up. Three people around him, and Kwiatkowski is going to get a hand on that and just knock it out. We'll take it. But uh, pick it up. Denver first and 10 on the 18 right here. Hand off to Gordon. Big hole for him. And he's going to get a lot of yardage right there. Nine yard gain. That's going to make it a second and one right here. Once again, Denver staying in the shotgun formation with Gordon on the left. And here comes Cleve Farrell blowing that one up. Excellent play recognition right there. And way to get to the running back and force a loss of yardage right there. Look at him just come in, wrap him up, and bring him down. It looks like we had a few Raiders right there as well. Third and three. Once again, shotgun formation. Lock stepping back. Quick pass, and he's going to be short right there. I believe that's Noah Fant. And yep, that's going to be a fourth and two situation. Looking like we just held him to a field goal, but nope, Denver is going to go for it. They are like, we're close. We're too close. Not going to take three on this one. Let's see if the Raiders can force a stop right here. Crosby coming in. Wraps Lindsey up, and that's going to be short. That's going to be a turnover on downs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the Raiders, excellent job by the defense. Ben, but don't break all the way down into the red zone, but they are able to force the turnover on downs. Here's a look at DC's number 16 touchdowns, but 12 interceptions. That's not pretty. Definitely been cleaning it up as of late. So we'll see if he can continue that trend throughout the rest of the season. First and 10, Josh Jacobs. That's our superstar X Factor player right there. Is he is at 998 yards. Just about 
hit 1,000 already here in week 10 on the season. We're going to hand it off to him right here, and there it is. 1,000 yards on the season for Josh Jacobs. Shout out to him doing his thing. Let's see if we can run that number up a bit more as we are, once again, only in week 10. And here he goes as he's going to be cooking today. Look at that. Woo, big gain right there. Yes, sir. Off to a hot start and a little late on the graphic, but we'll take it. As that was four straight carries right there. Now we're going to go with something a little different. See if we can get him on some play action right here. Fake it to Jacobs. Looking for something. Nobody open yet. Carr is going to get brought down right there. Jareel Casey. Carr looking for the deep shot. Should just hit the check down right there, but got a little greedy with it. Second and 20 now. Carr stepping back, looking for something. And he's going to fumble it. And ooh. I believe that's Gabe Jackson jumping on it just in time. And that's going to lead to a punt. So Denver back with the ball right here. Play action. Drew Locke. Here comes Farrell off the left side. And he's going to get there. Bring him down. Yes, sir. Clee Farrell with the sack. I believe that is going to be his sixth sack on the season right there. Run that back real quick. He just got through that line pretty quick. Him and Crosby both right there. Excellent job of bringing the pressure. Third and 18. Looking promising for the Raiders to see if they could just get this stop right here. No pressure from the line. And that's going to be an easy first down right there for Noah fans. Abrams gets burned. And that's that's poor execution right there. The Raiders got to be able to stop a third and 18. Got to be able to get that ball back. Here we are with 28 seconds left to go in the first. Check down Trayvon all over that on a third and two. Smacks it out of the hands. That's going to lead to a punt. Raiders going to pick it up here. Second and ten. We are now in the second quarter. Carr going to throw it up to Waller. One on one. Can't make the play. Excellent play by the Denver defender right there to smack that one out of Waller's hands. We're going to have a third and ten right here. Curl route. Tyrell. You already know he's got them secure hands. Nice, nice glue on the glove. Being able to bring that one in. First catch of the day right there for 14 yards. Is that's going to keep the drive alive. Car going play action yet again. Looking for some deep. Can't get nothing. And Von Miller is all over it. And down goes Car. Oof. Von Miller with a nice little bow and arrow action. That's nice. That's nice. Second and 20 now. Trying to get a little bit of yardage back right here. No one on Jalen Rashard. That's going to be a big game right there. Trying to put a move on him. He's going to get down to make it about a third and two. Ooh. Look at that. Uh, Raiders going I form hand off Jacobs. He's gonna push it up and did he get that one look pretty close and they're gonna say no But fourth and inches we got Josh Jacobs in this O-line you already know we're going for it right here I form car hand off Jacobs There's a little bit of a gap and he's gonna get that first down. You already know that's Josh Jacobs man That's money in the clutch all day all day Car four verts throwing a deep Aguilar one-on-one -on, -one on Simmons Bobbled, incomplete, no, it's going to be intercepted right there by Simmons, he's going to spin out of it, and here he goes on a nice little return, trying to make some moves, get it all the way down to the 36, what a play right there, how was that intercepted, There's so much bobbling going on, <sighs> lucky pick right there, it is what it is, one on one, I was hoping Aguilar could get, go up and get that, unfortunately couldn't, Denver picks up the ball, alright, they're going to throw that. A nice little check down. That's going to be a roughing the passer on Clee Farrell, I believe, right there. Yes, sir. Came in a little late with the hit. You know, trying to lay down the hammer on him. But uh, Locke was able to get that ball out just in time and pretty early enough to draw the roughing the passer. Right here, Lindsey going to get a big gain right there as he's now has six carries for 24 yards. Averaging four a carry. Not too bad. Uh, Denver's driving. They're all the way up to the Vegas uh, 30. Pistol formation, bring it uh, su sudden in motion. Crosby trying to bring some pressure from the right side. Can't get it. Oh, man, no offense. is wide open. That's poor coverage right there from the Raiders. As Locke is 8 for 11, only 90 yards, but he's driving down the field. And here it is, third and two on the five. Raiders forcing another third down. Let's see if we get this stop this time. Shotgun, Locke, quick pass. And, oh, man, he just simply burned Abrams. Abrams lands a hit on him, but it don't matter. If you run back this replay back, I don't know where, where Abrams is going on this one. Just, mm. shout out to Richardson for the catch. He hung on to that hit after. That was already a touchdown, but man, he took a shot too. But here it is right here. Look at, Abrams just freezes. Like, he's looking back. I don't know what he was looking at, but. Is what it is. Denver's going to get on the board first. As our offense has been slowed down. That's barely the first score of the game with six minutes left to go in the second. We got to respond. Car going to hit Waller right there. Nice little game. 
Second and seven now. Five minutes left to go in the second quarter. Carr stepping back, looking for something, waiting wide open over the middle. Gonna take that. Nice little truck. Three people to take him down. And we are up to the 35 now. First and 10. Carr, single back formation. Got that ace action going and the rugs wide open on the slant. We'll gladly take that. Carr, six for eight for 95 yards. The one pick, obviously, from the last drive. Third and six right here. Carr looking for something. Nobody's open. Trying to create some time, and he's going to get brought down by Harris. I believe that's the third sack on the day. We run that back. No one's really open right here. Maybe Richard right off the break, but that's it. Like, left side's covered. Covered on the streak. Waller, nope. So, we end up having to settle for three on that one. Is what it is. Lindsey, handoff. Here comes Abrams. You don't want to get a hit from him. I'm surprised that wasn't a fumble. That was a big body hit. Shout out to Lindsey for hanging on to that one. Here comes Abrams again on a third and four. Couldn't lay the hammer down, unfortunately, on that one. And Denver's going to pick up the first. Two minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Locke stepping back. Looking it for somebody, and he's going to hit Noah Fant over the middle. Plenty of time in the pocket. The pass rush is simply not there. We've gotten a couple sacks, but if it's not a sack, it's simply just plenty of time in the pocket. So this D-line has to do a better job of creating more consistent pass rush. One minute and 30 seconds left to go in this one. Locke making adjustments, but so are we. So he's making adjustments to our adjustments. Let's see if it's going to work out for him right here. Farrell trying to bring some pressure from that left side. He's got plenty of time in the pocket yet again. And there is Cortland Sutton. Breaks Corey Littleton's tackle. And that's going to be a nice game. That's good adjustments right there from Drew Locke. Shout out to him. That was an excellent command uh, right there. And then he's going to hit a uh, wide receiver running to the left right there. Bring it down. They're on the one-yard line. 43 seconds left to go in the half. Lock handoff Lindsay and he's gonna be short. No, that last ditch effort stretching his arm out is able to get the touchdown right there. And Denver is up 14 to 3 on this Raiders team who's been hot. Oh, here's Ruggs one on one and he's gonna get that. Let's go. That's a big play right there from Henry Ruggs. And that's gonna set us up for opportunity to score before the half. No huddle situation. 19 seconds came off the clock off that car looking for something. Tyrell one on one. No, can't snag it in. That's an excellent defensive play from the defensive back of Denver. Eight seconds left to go right here. Carr looking for something, making some adjustments at the line. You see Waller. No one's on Waller right now. We may have something right here. Call streak. Throw it up to him. Can't get an excellent play by Simmons to bat that ball away. Four seconds left. Raiders are going to go for possibly a touchdown or a quick pass right here. Let's see. They do have two timeouts. Right here, Waller over the middle, wide open. He's got one to beat, and he gets in. That's a touchdown, Raiders. And that's going to take us into the half on this one. Raiders, excellent job of driving down the field right there to be able to get some points on the board, especially a touchdown in that situation. As, uh, yeah, man, we'll take it. 14-10, not the start we expected, but hopefully we can flip it around here in the second half. Raiders are going to get the ball to begin the second half right here. Play action. We got Waller, wide open left side. Going to get that, break a tackle, get a few extra yardage right there. Car now 9 for 14 for 195, a touchdown and a pick. Uh, once again, not counting that pick. You know, that was, come on. Come on, Madden. Uh, right here, Josh Jacobs running the ball. That's going to be a big gain right there. Nice solid carry for 12 yards. Josh Jacobs has not had a big game today. 11 carries for only 49 yards. He's gained 4.4 at carry, which is solid. Just we haven't went to the run game a lot. Is that something to do with the big rugs performance last week? Maybe. We're looking for something here, though. Big play. Oh, my goodness. Carr has so much room on the left side. He's going to run that all the way down to the four yard line right there that's gonna be a gain of 31 yards can't forget carter got a little, bo little bit of mobility in him you feel me like come on you gotta respect the game right there here we go car going shotgun right here making some adjustments at the line tyrell one-on-one -on, -one on the left side we're gonna throw it up to him he's gonna jump what a snag right there touchdown raiders
That right there is just an excellent throw from Carr. Nice back shoulder throw. An excellent job of realizing that mismatch right there. Callahan and Tyrell, that's a huge mismatch right there, height wise. Throw it up to your boy. Let him go big body and snag that. Excellent job right there. Raiders now have the lead 17 14. And let's see if Denver can respond right here. Weak eye. Uh, fake the handoff right there. And that's. Ooh, that could have been a pick, but nope. There's a flag on the play. I'm pretty sure you guys saw it right there. That's pass interference on LaMarcus Joyner right there. That's just, oof. Ew, if he doesn't land that hit on him right there, we may have a pick right there. I'm just saying, but we'll see. Third and five right here. Locks plenty of time again. There's just no pass rush at the moment. And that's a drop pass right there from Melvin Gordon. That's just a big miscue right there. And the Raiders are going to take advantage of that and get the ball. Car rolling out right. Play action. Tyrell gets open. Whoo, gonna hit him right there. A lot of yardage right here. Gonna get all the way down to the 50. That's a 30 yard gain right there for the Raiders. And they have just flipped the momentum of this game. They are driving. Let's see if they can do something with it. We're now at the 43. Third and three. Handoff to Jacobs. He's gonna be short. Ooh, there's a flag on the play though. We may have uh, maybe gotten lucky right here with face mask. No, that's gonna be a holding call on Rodney Hudson, the Pro Bowl center. And they are going to decline it. Fourth and two. We got the momentum. We'll, we'll give it back to them. Let's see if our defense can make a stand here. Hand off to Lindsey. He's going to get a big gain right there on first down. That's going to get make it uh, second and seven. We're going to pick it up ahead, though. First and ten now for uh, Denver. I form Philip Lindsey yet again. And Denver is beginning to have their way with this defense. Here we go with a weak eye formation right here. Fake it to Lindsey right there. I almost said run. He's going to get it out. Ooh, excellent vision. Excellent dime right there. As the rush was finally getting to him, he makes an excellent throw under pressure to Noah Fant. And that's going to make it a second and four right here. 2.50 left to go here in the third quarter. Denver is in Raider territory. And how is Cortland Sutton get that wide open? That's bad communication. Miscue right there. He is going to be short, though. Third and inches. Force it yet. Another third down. We stuffed him possibly. Yes. Look at that. Cleve Farrell. Excellent job getting off the block right there and helping stuff him. It's going to be fourth inch. They're going to take the field goal. Are they going to make this? Yes, they are. That's money right there. And now we have a tie game. 17-17 with a minute and 25 left to go here in the third quarter. Car stepping back. Going to hit Brian Edwards who takes a shot right there. But he hangs on to the ball. Shout out to the young rookie. First and 10 right here. Josh Jacobs going to get the ball. Bob and Weaving getting his way through the traffic right there. Bouncing around the O-line, D-line. And getting a nice solid gain right there. Raiders going I formation right here. Carr stepping back. Looks like he's got time. But Bob Miller just beats Trent Brown off the edge right there. He's going to get in for his second sack of the day. Tenth sack of the season. And that's going to be a second 18 for the Raiders now. Raiders at the 50. Going to go quick curl route right there to Tyrell. Sure-handed man gonna snag that one up for us force a nice little third and short right here third and four play action car looking for something run for a wide open over the middle and he's gonna take that get a nice solid gain right there and get us a first down shot to Renfro right there third and Renfro you know you always gotta look for him first and ten right here car making adjustments at the line we're gonna play action rugs breaks open he is open and ooh, car got it out just a little late that play was perfectly uh called up he just hesitated on the throw and that's gonna cost him a touchdown right there second and ten though we're gonna hit tyrell over the middle and he's gonna fight his way in that's a touchdown for the raiders Raiders now up 24 to 17. They have seemed to have gotten control of this game. 10 minutes left to go. Denver's still fighting though, hanging in here. Log gonna hit over the middle. Noah Fant. That's gonna be a big gain right there for them. And he's gonna get hurt on that play. Looks like a little hip injury right there. This looked like what he was grabbing there. Uh, best of wishes to him. Third and four. Happy to have him out of the game though. Let's see who's dominating. Once again, Raiders making adjustments at the line. And then Drew Lock responded to those responses right here. Yep, we call audible. He's got audible again. Look at these adjustments right here. And looking like we possibly should have made one more adjustment. He's going to find 
his uh, tight end right there for a nice solid gain and pick up the first down. That would have been a nice key stop right there, but what is what it is. Shout out to him for making those adjustments again. That forcing a third and six with eight minutes left to go in the fourth. Time is starting to dwindle for this team, but they are driving. He's going to hit Paul Richardson right there on a nice little drag route, and that's going to get him all the way up for a fourth and two. Looks like we finally got another stop, but they are going to go for it. They know they are this far. They need a touchdown. 7.30 left to go in the game. Drew Locke, single back formation. Looking for something. Quick pass, and that's going to be Cortland Sutton right there as he beats Trayvon Mullen, unfortunately, on that one. And they are going to pick up the first down. Pick it up ahead, second and four right here. Drew Locke stepping back. Wide open is Jerry Judy. That's going to be a touchdown for the Broncos right there, and that's going to make it a tie game. Simply blown coverage right there. you got to gotta do better right there on defense. Here come the Raiders again, though. Trying to respond right here. Looking for something. No one's really open. He's got Waller right there, but he decides to tuck it and run it. Going to get a nice solid gain of nine. That's going to end up being leading to a first down eventually. Carr with it. Going to hand it off to Jacobs. He's going to break a tackle right here. He's beginning to get going now. 18 carries, 78 yards. Not up the amazing day we're accustomed to, but it's still a solid game out of out of Josh Jacobs right here. And look, oh, here we go again. Nice solid run right there. Nice little what five yard gain right there. We'll take that. Second and five right here. Going back to a play that we caught earlier near the end zone that Carr missed on. We got rugs wide open on the left side. Carr throws it out. Feet down. That's an excellent catch right there, right? No, they're gonna say that was incomplete. We're gonna slow it down, run it back. His foot is on the white right there, as you can see. Very unfortunate. Once again, Carr did not get it out in time. Henry Ruggs' speed is unparalleled. You have to get it out a little before that break because he's just simply too fast. Third and five. We throw it to Waller. Excellent job by Simmons of hitting him and making him drop that one. So unfortunately, we have to give the ball back with three minutes left to go in the fourth. Denver with the opportunity to win this. Melvin Gordon going to run the ball right here. Second and seven. That's going to force a third and five, I believe. And Melvin Gordon not running the ball too well. It's mainly been Philip Lindsay who's been the worrisome back for us. Drew Lock going to get it out quick to Sutton. Spin move. Oh, man, what a move right there on LaMarcus Joyner. He's going to stick with it, though, and bring him down. And that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. And a little below it as well. Second and three right here with a minute 35 left to go. Drew Lock going to throw it. Ooh! LaMarcus with a big hand right there. Could have been a pick. That would have been nice to make that game-changing play right there. But third and three. Here comes Hurst. Bringing the pressure. He's going to make the play right there and bring down Drew Lock right there to force the fourth down. That's a clutch sack right there. And this tie game is going to end up being flipped to the Raiders side. They are going to have the ball with a minute 20 left to go. First and 10. Oh, it's looking good for the Raiders. Car opportunity to win this one right here. Looking for some room. Nobody's open. Oh, man, look at all the room he's got to run, and he's going to slide. Killed a little bit of clock on this one. He now has three carries for 59 yards, 20 yards a carry, basically, as he's doing an excellent job of bringing the ball down and scrambling. First and 10 right here. Car wide open rugs. He overthrows it. That's an interception. Oh, and that's going to be a big return for the Broncos. They're going to flip the field. Jewel with the return to the 46 of the Raiders. Carr simply overthrows Ruggs. He's wide open on the drag route. What are you doing, man? No, no, no. Raiders defense needs a clutch stop here. First and 10. Big catch right there. They're going to get all the way to the 39 right there. Drew Locke, 13 inches right here. Raiders need to stop. 22 seconds left to go in the game. Hand off to Lindsey. Hurst gets off the block and he's going to stop him short. But he didn't push him back a lot. And that's only going to get it to the 37. Denver's going to call a timeout right there. This is going to be a long kick right here. This could be for the game. Six seconds left. Fourth and one. Here we go. The kick goes right down Broadway. That's an excellent clutch kicking situation from Brandon McManus. That's a great kicker right there. You know from that distance it's going to be tough. You hope the ice works, but unfortunately it didn't. Now it's all left up to this kickoff return an excellent kick right there so we got to take this one out limb boating gets the ball bring it out left bring it back to the middle and he's gonna be short just brought down to the 25 and that's gonna be the game as we blow a game to the one in seven broncos the division rivalry games you cannot underestimate and i don't know what happened in this one we simply outrushed them out past them just barely but we'll take it average yards per play we were way better but the takeaways we could not get they had the one takeaway at the beginning of the game with uh, Simmons on the bobble catch. And then 
the overthrow of Derek Carr simply cost him the game right there. Henry Ruggs was wide open on the drag route and he overthrows it. That's going to lead to him having two picks on the day. Three touchdowns, what seemed like to be a solid game from him, gets overshadowed with that second pick and that's just disappointing right there. Uh, Josh Jacobs with a nice game of 80 yards a carry. It's just 80 yards a carry, whoa. 80 yards total on 19 carries and it's just... Look at, we spread the ball around excellent today, just it didn't work out in our favor. Uh, the run game really wasn't too like what we expected, it didn't dominate. We tried to pass, that may be uh, due to the play calling on my part. We had that big game with Rugg, so I was trying to see if we get some more big plays I think. And that's what ultimately cost us the game. And then defensively, oh man, that was tough, it was tough. I felt like we should have stopped a team like that. but. Obviously, this defense has some uh, growing to do, some upgrades needed, and then the O-line simply gave up way too many sacks as well. So, is what it is. Tough L to take, but uh, yeah, man. I'm going to leave y'all with the stats. Uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. And uh, yeah, man, if you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe, hit the noti bell for when I upload. And yeah, catch y'all next one. Peace.